In this video, we're going to learn how to remove a directory using C on a Windows machine with the underscore rmdir function found in the direct.h library. If we were using a Unix-like system like a Linux machine or a Mac machine, we would probably use the POSIX library to achieve the same functionality. The first thing we'll do is include the direct.h library where the underscore rmdir function is defined. To call the function is pretty simple. You just say underscore rmdir, and then you provide the string containing the directory that you want to remove as an argument. So here we'll say test. And right now, the current working directory for this program is going to be the Visual Studio project directory where this file is saved. If we check out that directory now, we're going to find that it has a subdirectory called test. If we run this program, that directory should be removed. So we'll save this, and then we'll compile and run our program. Right now, there won't be any actual program output. But if we go back to that command prompt, we're going to find that that test subdirectory has been deleted. And that's basically how the function is going to work. Now, we can detect if an error occurs when using this function. The function will return negative 1 if there's an error removing the directory. So the test directory has already been removed. If we try to remove it again, we'll get an error. Let's try to detect that. So we'll create a variable called retval, and we're going to store the return value of the function into this variable. And then we'll check it. So if the return value is negative 1, then we know that an error has occurred when removing the directory. And if that's the case, we'll print out an error message. We'll say remove directory failed, followed by a new line. We'll return 1 to exit with an error status. If the return value is not negative 1, then an error didn't occur, in which case we'll print out remove directory succeeded, followed by a new line. Now, if we save this and compile it and run it, we expect to get remove directory failed because the test directory has already been deleted, and we do. If we include the e rrno.h library, we can check to see more specifically which error has occurred. So this library includes a global variable called errno, and the underscore rmdir function will actually set this variable to a preprocessor constant value to let us know which error specifically has occurred. And then we can deal with that specific error. So for example, in this case here of removing a directory that we've already removed, we'll actually get the error ENOENT, which basically means path not found. So we'll say if ERRNO is equal to ENOENT, we're going to print out path not found. So we can't find the directory to delete. And we'll save this and compile and run our program. And now we get remove directory failed and path not found. Now, we've also got a directory called test2. And in the test2 directory, there actually is a file called file.txt. We can't delete a directory if it contains files or folders. We'll actually get a different error code in this case. So what we'll do is add an else if branch here. We'll say else if errno is equal to e not empty then we'll print out directory not empty, followed by a new line. And this time, we're going to try to remove the directory test2, because that's the directory that's not empty. So we'll save this, and then compile and run our program. And now we get remove directory failed, and this time, directory not empty. Now, the path we give here doesn't have to be a relative path. We can give an absolute path. So for example, I have a directory on my system, test, underneath my C drive. So if I have C drive, backslash, backslash, test, this will delete the test directory. Now I have two backslashes here, because remember the backslash character is a special character in C strings. Normally we use it for things like the new line character here. So I have two here to have an actual backslash in my string. Now I do have a test directory, but the test directory could be used at the moment. So for example, let's actually switch to that directory. Right now, 
this command prompt program is using the test directory, it actually has a handle open to this directory and it's using it. So Windows doesn't want to let us delete that directory. There's actually another error code for this situation. We'll have another else if branch here and we'll say else if errno is equal to e access. We're going to print out an open handle to the directory exists. So we'll save this and compile and run our program. And we get remove directory failed and open handle to the directory exists. So we can't delete it because a program is using it. Now, if the program were no longer using it, if we change the directory, for example, now we're not using that directory. We can try to delete it now. And if we save our program, compile it and run it, it's going to work. We get remove directory succeeded. So this is how we can remove a directory using C on a Windows machine with the underscore RM DIR function of the direct.h library. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.